Good afternoon and thank you for coming. Strong neighborhoods build strong communities. Since 2013, this government has laid a strong foundation on which to build consistent support for neighborhood institutions and entities that work with families to promote positive lifestyle choices. The Cash Back for Communities initiative takes the proceeds of crime seized by law enforcement and converts that cash into grants to community organizations. There are other important statutory demands on these confiscated assets, but once those demands are met, this government is determined to assist as many worthy community causes as possible. Today I'm joined by represent representatives of a cross-section of Bermuda's community organizations. These men and women sacrifice countless hours to train, nurture, and care for young people, seniors, and families. From sports clubs who promote leadership and good judgment through sports, to the Family Center who provide a significant safety net for families, to those who care for our seniors, Bermuda is well served through this commitment and dedication. Before I make these presentations, let me thank the Premier, who as this government's first Minister of National Security, led this initiative and brought his characteristic energy to the process. I should also thank my colleague, the Minister of Finance, and my colleague, the Attorney General, who have statutory responsibility for the confiscated asset fund, and of course, the men and women of the Bermuda Police Service, whose hard work makes all of this possible. I am confident that these grants will help continue the vital work these organizations do every day in our community. Thank you. Now we can start with the presentations, I believe, of the, the checks. And the first one is for my friends at Crime Stoppers. Good to see you. Good to see you. Troika, Bermuda. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for all you do. PHC, Pembroke Hamilton Club. <laughs> Western Stars Sports Club. Thank you for letting us do Redcoats. North Village. Thank you very much. Thank you Bermuda Pacers Track Club. Yeah. Care Learning Center. <laughs> Lorraine Rest Home. Thank you. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> the Family Center. <laughs> the question was, what are we going to spend it on? Yeah, the uh, Family Center is very, very grateful to receive this um, charitable donation, as I'm sure everyone is. And uh, we have counseling services for families that isn't as sexy as everything else is, so it gets the least amount of funding, but it's the most costly program. It's over $800,000 a year. So these, these funds will go towards the counseling program to ensure that families can continue to get the counseling services that they need. And I, we're very, very grateful to the Ministry of Natural Security for these funds. Thank you. Quite welcome. Uh, good afternoon. Um, on behalf of my chairman, David Carruthers, who's overseas right now, and my board of directors, we thank the minister for this opportunity. Um, Crime Stoppers, as you know, have been on the island for more than 15 years now. And we are the silent minority. We work in the communities where we give the public the opportunity of using a telephone number. They can call, and that number is sent over to Miami, where some people are taking the calls and then they send it back to us and we give that information to law enforcement. We're the best kept secret on the island, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. We can't tell the media what we do because, you know, it is anonymous. But with the help of the media, because we're a triangle, we work like the Bermuda Triangle, it's the, the media who 
promote crime, it's the community who report it, and it's law enforcement who enforce itself. So what we will be doing with this funds is simple. The 100% of it will be going into marketing the number. At the present, we only have two sources of marketing. One is the Royal Gazette that has us on the front page. The other is the marketplace stores where we have it on their bags. And with this funds, we will try to use other sources of getting that number, 800 8477, out to the community. In the short time we have, thanks to the support of our minister, who was a former member of our board and uh, also former ministers in your position from previous years and previous governments. Uh, Crime Stoppers has seized over $25 million with drugs that would be still in the community if it wasn't for the community reporting it. Also, um, over $1.5 million of stolen property has been recovered. And all this information has been passed to police and customs, and neither the police nor us nor anybody else knows who gives that information. And this donation will help us try to get some more bad people behind bars and recover drugs that are brought into the country illegally and, of course, give back to people property that's been stolen. Thank you, Mr Minister. Thank you. We do public, our main triangle, as I said, is media. And we, like, there is lots of needy charities here. And as we know, the charity funds like ours has dried up in many ways. Unless we got support like we have here and support from the business community, we cannot promote our number. We are very fortunate. Miami Crime Stoppers answer our phones free of charge. And we work with telephone company to deal with um, our telephone calls. But 100% of every fund that we make goes into promoting Crime Stoppers. Those of us in the neighborhoods, you see the Crime Stoppers uh, neighborhood watch signs. We run the program alongside the Bermuda Police Service and we work with Bermuda Customs at the airport and the seaports. These are two main partners but we also work with fisheries and in some cases the dog wardens and child protection in many cases too because we get a whole array of calls that come into our number. Good afternoon everyone. Yeah. Mr. Minister, on behalf of the officers and members of Bermuda Pacers Track Club, we certainly like to say thank you for this donation that you have made to the club. It will certainly help us to continue our work in the community in promoting athletics here in Bermuda. Um, this helps to expose our athletes not only locally but to international track meets and we form one of many of the feeder clubs for the national program. So this will go a long way in assisting us in providing the proper tools and equipment for our athletes to succeed in their given event. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for your work. Good afternoon, everyone. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank the minister. On behalf of uh, the Troika board members and our young people that we serve, we're truly humbled by this donation. Certainly as a program that established itself in 2009 and has served as countless young people and their families, this support will go a long way in supporting our programs. Uh, our main concern as an organization is providing creative outlet for young people as an alternative to antisocial behavior. So this support will go a long way in uh, supporting our programs. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for